news. Tonight, the scams of the century after the storm of the century. A billion dollars missing and 11,000 complaints two years after Katrina. Target America, the first link between the British terror attacks and the U.S. The alleged bombers inquired about coming to this country. What's in a number? From wedding chapels to delivery rooms, the people who are convinced tomorrow, 777, will be their lucky day. And our person of the week, the city slicker, who saved countless farms, one fresh vegetable at a time. From ABC News headquarters, this is World News with Charles Gibson. Good evening. After the destruction caused by Hurricane Katrina, many victims were overwhelmed by the generosity of the American people. But so, too, is there a darker side to human nature. And nearly two years after the storm, the government is investigating more than 11,000 allegations of fraud cases after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, and that number is growing. The total number of dollars stolen, victims deprived, taxpayers robbed, is staggering. ABC's David Curley is joining us tonight from the Justice Department in Washington. David? Charlie, staggering is the right word, both in the amount of money that has been squandered and the number of cases the government is still dealing with. And here we are 22 months later. Warren Paysant just moved into his rebuilt house, the only one on his New Orleans street. But he's angry that so much government money ended up in the hands of those never touched by the storm. You have a hell of a nerve. There are people out here that can't even get back in their houses, and you're going to stand there and lie and take money that's not due you. Hello, Mr. Stahl. Government money taken by the likes of Walter Ray Stahl. He claimed he lost everything in New Orleans. Federal workers believed him, handed him a check for $2,000. Turns out he lives in Texas, and now a federal prison for 10 months. Just one of thousands of cases. This is scandal in its own right. Every dollar that went to somebody who was defrauding the government didn't go to somebody who really needed that aid. Fraud follows the money, they say, and it certainly did after Katrina. Of the nearly $7 billion spent on Katrina victims, it's estimated that a billion dollars, one out of every seven dollars, was stolen or wasted. We've seen too much money going out the door uh, that should be going to people who need it, that are going in the pockets of crooks. More than a hundred fraud complaints still pour in each week. There's a backlog. The numbers are daunting, but the, uh, the numbers are unprecedented. But the effort is unprecedented. The Justice Department defends its efforts, saying 700 people have now been convicted of fraud, of using a false address, getting free lodging, or illegally getting those cash cards that were being handed out almost like bottled water. Watchdog groups wonder if the government will be able to handle all these cases before the statute of limitations runs out in the next three years. This is money that other people could have used. Warren Paysant is not holding out much hope that others like him will ever see much of that missing money. And this is only the beginning. All these cases involve individuals. Still to come, the cases involving contractors and the fraud there could involve some very big dollar numbers. Charlie? David Curley reporting tonight from Washington. Thanks. Well, speaking of hurricanes, the National Hurricane Center is immersed in controversy right now. There's a staff revolt against the new director of the center. The staff says Bill Proenza, who has been on the job only a few months, needs to step down, that he's an impediment to their forecasting mission. Here's ABC's Ned Potter on how things have gone downhill so fast. The forecasters at the Hurricane Center spend most of their time worrying about major storms. But now the storm is 